So, uh, you know what we do with uh, cricket politicians, right? We <laughs> vote them out. What's up guys? Uh, welcome back to the Von Art Guitars YouTube channel. Um, the last time uh, I left you um, for this great guitar build-off series, um, I talked about, I was, where I was kind of talking about the neck and the neck that I had picked out uh, for this goddess guitar. Um, as you can see, I, um, I routed the uh, the neck pocket here, and so originally I had a neck all picked out that I was going to use um, for this one, um, and it's it's I don't know it looks I think it just again it, just like the neck that I found um, that I'm going to be using for the Mopar uh, themed guitar I just kind of found it in with. A bunch of my stuff I think it I don't know if this came from some sort of a kit or something but I was I thought that this would be a perfect neck to use for the goddess guitar because um, it doesn't it doesn't have any um, inlays on it and um, it, it actually doesn't even have any side side markers so I was going to do sort of a custom a custom inlay uh, right at around the 12th fret on this one and um, you know it's a, it's a paddle it's a paddle headstock so you know I was planning on um, you know cutting out a nice uh, cool shape there for the uh, for the headstock um, but unfortunately when I got into it um, I you know in order to do the custom inlay I, I had to pull the the frets off that were on here was they were just those, those little tiny little um short like short profile um frets so i wanted to pull those off anyways because uh i was going to put like jumbo either medium size or, or jumbo frets on this on this neck which is fine and so you know i i, I went through and, and pulled the frets off but i noticed kind of as i was just kind of messing with it and just kind of taking a look getting it I was getting it um, I was gonna I was gonna I was getting ready to sand the fretboard and get this get the fretboard sort of uh, radius to how I want it radius um, it's I was gonna radius it at like 17 inches um, but <laughs> I um, I noticed that and I don't I don't know if you'll be able to see see uh yeah you're probably not really going to be able to tell very easily um on the video here but as i inspected it and looked at it closer this thing is twist it's got a major twist i mean this 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 neck is horrible it's it's uh <laughs> it's 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 about as crooked as a politician and and that's that's pretty crooked so um i just decided no i'm not gonna i'm not even gonna mess with it i i, I don't even want to bother to try to i don't think doing any sort of address uh adjusting with the truss rod is gonna is gonna fix because it's not bowed it's not bowed this way or 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 that way it's 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 twisted um and that's just not gonna work so um whatever um it's it's kind of, it is what it is, I guess, at this point. And um, so, uh, you know what we do with uh, cricket politicians, right? We <laughs> vote them out. So, um, I thought, well, now what am I gonna do? Do I have to, am I gonna have to buy? I don't wanna buy, um, I really didn't wanna spend the money to buy a, um, another neck. Uh, for this build um, for two reasons number one uh, I'm not gonna make any revenue off of this build because I've already mentioned that I'm giving it away and two I recently had my uh, my, my table router uh, go out on me 
the actual, not the table itself, but the, but the router and it. it was an old craftsman that I had from, for a, for a while. Um, and it just, it just, the motor seized up. So I had to, I had to replace that. Um, so I had to spend, spend a little cash to, uh, to replace that. Um, so again, I was digging around in my stuff <laughs> and, uh, and I found, I actually found this neck, um, which is, again, it's, it's a, it's the right scale for, for how I'm going to build this guitar because it's, it's, a, um, it's, it's a 24 and three quarter inch scale. It's, um, it's, I believe this neck came from, came off of, I'm, I'm almost, not, I'm about 99% positive that I, that this neck came off of an old uh, Dean e Evo, EVO, or however they, they pronounce, however Dean pronounces that, um, their little, they're just, it's like their little single cut um, guitar. And I believe that that's where this came from. Now, some people might be looking at the headstock and saying, well, that doesn't look like the, the, the type of headstock that from a Dean because those Dean Evos, like uh, these, these sides kind of, uh, come up a little bit and then it, it it's kind of jagged or whatever and then it kind of comes down to a point but um i know i know uh i i remember uh when i when i took when i got rid of that guitar i, I took the neck off and i and i um i uh i cut i cut it to this kind to that shape there um i don't particularly like the 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 shape of, of, of any really any Dean headstock at all. Um, I hope I'm not stepping on anybody's toes out there who are Dean fans. I, I apologize, but um, I I'm just not into Dean guitars really at all. It's, um, but anyways, but this is but regardless, this is this is actually a really nice neck. It's nice and straight. It's a 21 fret neck. It's not 22, and that's okay as well. Um, because that's not going to change anything in terms of the um, in terms of the scale for for this guitar. Again, as I mentioned, I'm going to make this one a 24 and three quarter inch scale. So um, you know it it, uh, it fits it fits well, right? Uh, it fits well in in the neck pocket there. Um, and you know if it was if there were 22 frets on here or even 24. Um, you know, I, I'd have that, that overhang, but, but since it's a 21 fret neck, it just kind of, it just kind of, there's no overhang really. It just kind of comes to the end of the, the neck pocket and that's fine. Um, and it sits in there really, it sits in there pretty well. Um, I'm not sure if you can really see that cause my fingers are in there, but, um, I've always, uh, I don't like when. I don't like when, uh, <clears throat> if I can, I don't like when guitars are, where the, I don't like when the neck sits up like that, where you can kind of, where you can see the actual neck sitting up. Um, well, I like, I like, I like guitars to where the fretboard, uh, it just kind of the, the fretboard, the only thing you can really see right there at, at the neck pocket is, is the actual fretboard itself. Um, and so I, uh, when I routed the, um, when I routed the neck pocket on this one, I did, uh, excuse me. I, I did what the, what, what Warmoth guitars would call their, um, their 720 mod. If you don't know what that is, um, it's a little hard to explain, but typically, especially on like a, say like a Strat guitar, uh, you know, a Stratocaster, um, a, Fe a Fender Telecaster, any, any, any bolt, bolt on style guitar like that. The neck pocket is, is typically, um, routed out at a uh, five eighths inch deep. And, and that's where you get where the the neck kind of sticks up a little bit. So therefore everything else um, that has to be, you know, this, in line with that, like the bridge and uh, the, the pickups and whatnot, it's, it's all kind of elevated a little bit. 
and again I don't I don't like that I don't never really liked that style it's not okay for a Les Paul but that's kind of something different but um, so anyway so I did that I did I did the the the, um, the Warmoth style um, 7 720 mod where um, I routed it slightly deeper so that if you bought a body from say Warmoth and you asked for the 720 mod um, as one of your options for the for the neck pocket I believe that um, instead of 5 8 deep it's just under it's just under um, like three quarters of an inch um, but they do it in millimeters and so it's it's a I think it's I think it ends up being somebody can correct me if I'm wrong um, I think it ends up being 720 millimeters deep um, and that's where they get the 7 720 from but I didn't do it that way I, I, <laughs> I just I just routed it just slightly under uh, three quarters of an inch deep so it's a, it's a little bit deeper than uh, than the, the five A's and 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 that's that works out that works out for most guitars that I build because then then that neck is that neck sits in in the pocket a, a little bit lower um, and then you know if I'm going to do a, a string through body uh, bridge on this one um, and so those when you when you do it that way the saddles the saddles on the bridge I, I wish I had one I wish I had one here to, to kind of demonstrate but when you do it when you do it that way when you when you route the neck pocket that way and you use a um, a, t a bridge like that where where you just it's uh, like a string through string through body where you just have like the the little bridge saddles that are adjustable up and down with the little um, the, with the little Allen screws uh, they they those when you set up the action those those bridge saddles tend to be more kind of level or flat as opposed to kind of sticking up like this for that so that you know for the string to kind of get up over the saddle and then go on to to the nut uh, it's just a personal preference that I that I like and, and it, it's it, it works out pretty well so I decided to do that with this one here so now so now that I've got the now that I have a neck the bummer the bummer is that um, it, uh, you know this you can see that this already has dot inlays um, and I, I'm not going to screw with if I was if I was to try to do like a custom inlay right there at the 12th fret for the style for what I was going to do I was going to do the the alternate um, Von Art guitars logo there um, but it's it wouldn't really work because of the two the two dots that are already there plus I'd have to I'd have to pull these frets off and do the the um, the routing or whatever of the of the for the logo and then and then fill it with some probably you know I, I probably would have gone with some epoxy resin um, and then put the and, you know put the frets back on but um, at this point in the game I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna mess around with that so it's I'm just gonna keep it like this with the dot inlays um, of course you know I'll do something cool with the headstock in terms of like staining it or painting it or whatever and then it'll it'll have the the Von Art guitars logo up there and stuff and um, probably do a brass maybe a brass nut or a graphite nut up here so so at any rate now so now is the time where I can um, since I have a neck picked out one that's gonna work um, it's uh, now I can do um, the measuring uh, to, to, to mark where the bridge holes are gonna be for the for the bridge and then and then subsequently after that I can um, you know figure out where I want to put the um, the pickup the single uh, humbucker pickup and uh, get all that stuff um, measured out and, and marked and then uh, routed, and I'll, I'll do that um, shortly here. All right, so um, <clears throat> most of you who are watching this, uh, I know, I understand that you, you, you know what, what scale means uh, when it comes to guitars and the, um, you know, we got the typical, uh, the typical scale, they're 25 and a half inch scale, or, or 24 and three quarter inch scale. So this will probably be redundant for some of you, but um, I, I like to, <clears throat> I tend to 
like to make my uh, my videos um, sort of so that folks who uh, don't really understand or you know don't know much about guitars or the or uh, the, you know the the construction of guitars um, you know I, again it's I'm not necessarily a tutorial channel um, but some things do need to be explained um, so I'll just kind of go over that uh, how that works and I'm gonna I'm gonna stand up I, it's hard for me to talk in that position um, but I got I got the camera pointed down at at, at, at my bench here so that um, so I can demonstrate how we uh, how we do this. So this guitar is going to be a, a, tw a 24 and three quarter inch scale guitar. Um, if you think of a typical, uh, if you think of a Gibson Les Paul, um, there's other guitars that are that are similar scale, but that's kind of um, the I guess the the most well-known guitar that's uh that's built to that that scale and since i just de i decided that since this is a single cut um a single cut style guitar it it'd probably be fitting to to do it at at 24 and three quarter mm -hmm. so what what uh, what that means is that if you have a guitar that's uh that's 24 and three quarter inch scale um if that only all that simply means is that the distance from the nut to where the bridge saddles sit at, on the bridge, that that whole distance is is uh, is is 24 and three quarter inches. Um, and then you know some people go by the distance between um, the 12th fret and and the and the nut. Um, it's you know as long as you know what that distance is supposed to be, it, it's it doesn't. It doesn't matter however however you want to do your measurements um, but so I got um, I got this laying out here and I'm just gonna take my my, uh, my ruler here and this is <clears throat> unfortunately this is probably not the best the best thing to use for this because it's kind of floppy. I was just kind of set something down there so that when it comes off the neck, it's still fairly level with the neck so that it, you know, if the, if the, it's a, it's just a, it's just an aluminum ruler and it's, it's, it flops. Um, so if I can keep it straight, then I can get the, then I can get the measurement to where I want it. Um, so I generally kind of kind of try to line it up with the center, um, the center line of the guitar, and I'll come down, and we got 24 and three quarter inches is right there, and and then I'll um, I'll just kind of move it along the just kind of move it along the fretboard um, and make make additional marks so that I can try to so I can try to make sure that I'm being staying consistent all the way through all right and now I can t I can actually tell just by the the naked eye just by looking at it um, I'll try to again I don't this is this is always kind of I need to, I need more cameras, but I don't. It's not in the budget right now. But um, if I hold that up, you, yeah, you probably can't. Well, you can kind of see that line, but um, now, now that line is nice and uh, it's nice and straight. It's the same from you know from from say the the last fret here to that point on this side and the last fret there to this side it's nice and straight i um i would have been able to i would have been able to line this up a lot easier had i still uh had i had had the um the, the actual like the true 
actual center line down the, down the middle, but that that went away um, because when because of the fact that I had to fill this with that uh, that epoxy, so that um, that center line went away, and I'm 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 not gonna draw. I I, I don't want to. I didn't want to draw in a new a new center line on that on that um, epoxy resin. Um, so that's just <clears throat> that's just kind of the reason why I did that where. I had to had uh, had to measure you know both sides coming off of the off of the neck at at uh, at that angle. Um, I mean, again, there's more than one way to to skin a cat, and and that's just that's the way that I had to do it for this. Um, but I'm pretty comfortable with how that where that is. Um, it's still I shouldn't say still, but it's. Um, it's right at the, the 24 and three quarter inch mark. All the way across. So, <laughs> there's a fly. <laughs> I don't know, I, I showered this morning. I don't know why there's a fly flying around me. But, so anyways, um, so now, now that that is done, um, now I can actually get the bridge that I'm going to use and, and put it on there so I can get the, uh, the holes laid out and then, uh, and then I can, and then I'll be able to, um, uh, draw in where I want to have the, uh, the pickup in reference to where the bridge is going to be. Um, and then I'll probably at the at the same time then I'll probably be able then I'll be able to figure out um, kind of where I want to put the um, this is just gonna have a because it's only gonna have one pickup it's just gonna have a single single volume knob no tone um, again I don't want to step on anybody's toes here but tone knobs don't need them <laughs> in my in my opinion don't don't need them. Um, so just uh, the the one volume and then uh, a uh, a kill switch, and uh, and I can I can get those holes drilled as well, and then um, and then and then then this thing will truly be ready to uh, paint and stain. So I'm gonna get the bridge and get that uh, those holes lined up right now. Okay, so I've got my bridge here, um, and I. Uh, I removed. I took the. I, I took the saddles out um, because it's just. It's a lot easier to, to mark that way. <clears throat> so I just need to kind of line this up here. So I've got uh, I've got the holes marked for this for the strings, and then I've got the holes marked for the uh, uh, for the mounting screws. All right, there we go. So that's perfect. And I'll just take it over to the drill press and um, and drill those out.
Okay, so the uh, the bridge holes have been have been drilled. Uh, the uh, pickup cavity's been uh, been routed. Um, volume knob drilled. Uh, kill kill switch hole drilled. Uh, got got the um, output jack hole drilled. So we're looking pretty good. Um, this video ended up being a lot. This video ended up being a lot longer um, than I originally wanted it to be, but that's okay um, because now that I'm to this point, I got uh, I got the neck I got the neck picked out. All this the body is essentially finished in terms of the construction, so to speak. Um, now it's just a uh, it's just a matter of. Um, a little bit more sanding and prep work, and then I, and then I can uh, get it get it stained and and finished up. Um, but it's a it's a good thing that this uh, this great guitar build off runs until sometime in September because um, I need to kind of take a break from at least from doing these videos here for the for the um, for the goddess guitar for the great guitar build off because um, I need to actually. Uh, start working on um, revenue generating projects that I've got that I've got going on. You can see a lot of stuff behind me. Got this Jackson Dinky here that I'm um, that I'm working on, and also um, I've got uh, my I've, I have a, an album that I need to finish up. My my band uh, Canis Dearest. We're um, uh, kind of working we're in the writing and recording process for our our next full length album, um, and I want to start getting the ball rolling on, um, on getting that finished up. So I'll be taking a little bit of a break from this, but um, I'll definitely be back uh, back at it sooner than probably later. And, um, and uh, I'll, I'll for sure have, uh, have my, my, uh, my guitar for the, um, for the great guitar build off. I'll have it finished in, in time. Um, I hope you uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please don't forget to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and ring the bell. Thanks.